Hi guys and welcome back to a new video. In this very quick video I just want to cover or I want to answer the question what is a feature. So I often explain in my videos that I personally prefer feature-based packaging over layer-based packaging. That means that your root packages are based on features of your app instead of layers. So presentation, domain, data. But when doing code reviews, which I do quite often, I often notice that people struggle to decide what is a feature and what isn't. And that then often leads to the problem that people decide that only a part of a feature is actually a whole feature, which breaks their package structure, which leads to problems that they don't know which classes to put where. In this video, I just want to give you a quick explanation how you can decide what's a feature and what isn't. So the quick explanation is that a feature is basically just a set of screens that belongs together, together with the functionality that yeah, power these screens kind of. However, with that explanation, things are still a little bit unclear, so let's try to understand that on a deeper level. So when deciding about what is a feature and what isn't, the question you should ask yourself is, can I cut this feature out of my app A and use it in app B without actually needing to adjust other features of, of app A or using other features of app A in app B. So a feature should really be one single isolated unit you can reuse in any kind of project. Of course, very often you also have some shared sections in your code, which you usually call like core or common, which also are treated kind of like a feature. But what should never be the case is that your feature accesses any other feature that is not core or common. So let's go through a little example and let's say we have a social network app. And here potential features might be authentication, which includes things like or login, registration, forgot password. So everything that belongs to that. So you could simply take this set of screens and reuse that authentication logic in another app. Since in the end, that is really independent of your social network. Your social network is only a social network because all the features it uses are combined in the way they are combined. Another feature of that social network might be the feed feature where you simply see the feed of the users you follow, for example. This feature could, for example, yeah, just cover the feed list where you can scroll through all the feeds of people you follow. It could be the feed detail. So if you click on a post and just see details, and then there might be a profile feature, for example, where you simply are able to view a user's profile, where you might have a screen to edit a user's profile or rather edit your own profile. And this could also be theoretically cut out of your app and reused in another app where you also would simply want to show user profiles because just the user profile itself is not directly related to a social network app. So I hope that clarified this topic a little bit because it's quite important that you structure your packages like that in features since that approach just scales a lot better. And when we're already at scaling apps, then check this video's description. You will find more advanced Android premium courses in which we're just going to dive much deeper into Android development than I can here on YouTube. Thanks for watching. Wish you an amazing rest of the week and I'll see you back in the next video. Bye bye.